Hello there. We are trying to look at what is molecular shapes or molecular geometries and based on the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. So this theory we can practice using simple molecule, covalent molecule, something like beryllium fluoride. Let's say beryllium has two valence electrons and fluorine has seven valence electrons. So from each side, one electron is shared. So you have two bonds and these ones are called the bonding pair. And the side ones are called the lone pairs or non-bonding because they are not making bonds, right? So those electrons are important to, to describe the molecular shapes. Or geometry right so let's compare this molecule this is CH4 methane then this one you know this is water but look at how many things you can tell about water water has two lone pairs and they are sticking into the page and outside the page right and water also polar molecule and it has a bent shape and it has a 105 degree between the HOH and it's a liquid. We can we can explain these qualities, properties, once we know the theory well. Now, the other molecule to compare is the methane. It is nonpolar. It's tetrahedral, the shape. And the bond angles are 109. And it's a gas, it's CH4. So at the end of this 10 minutes, hopefully, you should be able to understand and explain logically why these two molecules behave differently and have different qualities and properties, right? So here, so to do that, so pay attention to specially the column one and column two, the type and the electron domain. That's the first thing to understand to explain the shape. So the first category I say AX2 type, that means central atom is A, XX in each side. It gives you a linear shape, 180 degrees bond angle. That's the whole point here. Now, I also call this AX2 type, it's like two-legged dog, right? So let's not talk about the hybridization. That's just uh, later we can just mention. It's not really important to understand the theory. So AX2 goes into the next level, which is AX3 type. So that means the central atom A, and the excess are surrounded, but it has a trigonal shape, but it's flat, so it's called the trigonal plane. The bond angle between the XAX is 120 degrees because it's a, it's a 360 cut into three, right? That's why 120. Now, the next one, AX3 goes to AX4. This one is the tetrahedral shape. And uh, so this is, um, we can draw why tetrahedron is actually four sides of the, of the object, right? The geometric shape has four sides. And this angle is 109. Every angle is 109 in this molecule. And example is CH4. This one I would memorize. I would know exactly everything about CH4, what is in the, in the boxes, right? AX4, tetrahedral, 109, CH4. Now we advance into next one, AX5. So this one again, the central atom is A and Xs are surrounded. But what's the specialty is the mid one, mid part is a triangle. Can you see the flat triangle in the middle and the flat triangle in the middle and one sticks up, one sticks down. So that will give me the shape is called the trigonal bipyramid. So now bipyramid means two pyramids. Where's the two pyramid? So one pyramid is actually sticking up from the triangle and the other pyramid is sticking down from the triangle. So those are the bipyramid. Now look at this angle, XAX is 90. Within the triangle is 120. Remember, within the triangles are 120 and just the XAX is 90 degrees. So they, there are many examples for it, right? The next one is AX6 type. And this one I call the six-legged dog. So this one is easy. So you have a flat one in the middle and then one stick up, one stick down. The central atom is A and the flat square in the middle and then one sticks up, one sticks down. Now what's especially about this molecule has four sides to the top 
and four sides to the bottom. Four plus four is octa, that's why it's octahedral. Or, so eight planes basically, right? So this has, everything has 90 degrees. And uh, so many examples for that one too, right? So you're paying attention to the first column, AX1 to AX6 type, and then the shapes, different shapes, right? That's what you want to pay attention. Now later you can you can think about this CH4 has four legged, it's SP3, and then AX5 has SP3D, AX6 has SP3D2. That if it is relevant, just write it by the side and don't try to make connections between those. It's not really clear yet until you learn the electron configuration fillings for that. Now the other thing is from those ones are called the standard molecular shapes. Right, central atoms have no valence, uh, no lone pairs, but important variations, deviations are, there are two molecules very important, one is ammonia. So we're gonna look at this one, you're gonna compare with the CH for the methane. So methane has four electron domains, four legged dope, just like this, right? Two hydrogens are sticking up and down, one come to your way, the other one goes away, right? So that now what you do, instead of the hydrogen, put a lone pair on the top of the nitrogen. I say the, on the head of the nitrogen lone pair because there's missing hydrogen, right? So this lone pair push the other hydrogens down. So your expected 109 tetrahedral angle becomes 107. Now tetrahedral shape becomes trigonal pyramid. Look at the on the head. The hydrogen is gone it will become a trigonal pyramid so this is how the NH3 means just NH3 ammonia before now it has a lone pair it has a trigonal base pyramid and it has a 107 angle because of the lone pair push that's what you have to learn now the next the most important one is water so the water also you're going to compare with tetrahedral CH4, 109. That's the standard, the parental molecule to compare, right? So water can be drawn just like the similar molecule, but instead of the two hydrogens, you have two lone pairs on the oxygen. One is coming out of the screen, one going into the screen. Now, when you have two lone pairs, it's push the other hydrogens away so much than the 109 to 105. Now, it's this is how we remember okay so the water your final shape is bent because we don't count the lone pair as a shape so you count only the atoms h to the o to the h is a bent so those two are the most important ones the rest is actually depending on your course if you're not learning about that don't learn the next part of it so what's the next part is ax5 the ax5 variation is we're going to put a lone pair here on the triangle, one lone pair. If you put one lone pair, what happens is actually, you can kind of twist the molecule and see, I'm trying to make a seesaw. So seesaw has a wedge and the two kids in the each side, that's a seesaw, right? So this molecule actually looks like a seesaw. That's why it's called the seesaw. You get AX5 trigonal bipyramid, put one lone pair on the triangle, it'll give you seesaw. If you put two lone pairs on the middle triangle, you're gonna get the T shape. Look at that one, that's actually T shape, right? So that's another variation. Now, what's the next one is AX6, the six-legged dog, right? This one normally we know square, one up, one down. Now we're gonna make a lone pair to the center, bottom. So you get a um, square pyramid, so square-based pyramid right? That's the shape of this molecule. You can have another one. You can put a lone pair on the head too, on the top. So one lone pair on the top, one lone pair on the bottom. What happened? It just simply square plane. So that's the variations for the AX6, right? So now one lone pair on the top one is AX4E, and this one has AX5 has AX4 one lone pair, and the next one has AX3 two lone pair. Now we can also label water has AX4 originally, but we put two lone pairs, AX2, E2. And ammonia has one lone pair, AX3, E. 